Pamela and Kevin. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. That's just crazy. Yeah. I'm serious, I'm tough, and I'm dependable. I'm a big kid at heart. What can I say? <laughs> Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a complete nightmare? Definitely not. If you don't yeah. like it, don't come. I announced all this business was going on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Like, I am done. It's going to be a disaster. Pamela and Kevin are hot and heavily in love. Our relationship started pretty much in the gym. I was her personal trainer. I paid him with kisses. I hope he wasn't training anybody else for kisses oh, at the same time. I know from her 100% that she loves me and me only. And um, she has a great sense of humor. And uh, she's very caring, very understanding, supports me 100%. And um, she puts up with my crap. <laughs> yeah, very attractive. He loves all of my quirks and goods and bads, and he treats me like his princess. He just wants to make sure that I'm happy all of the time. I proposed to Pam Christmas morning at 12 a.m. There was like tea lights everywhere, and it was so romantic and cheesy. How can I exist without your kiss? Oh, I never felt like this. Recently, romance has taken a back seat to reality. I'm a hairstylist by day. I'm pursuing a music career on the side. Uh, I'm, so bad. I'm an inventor of a one-of-a-kind jacket. It's uh, very busy, very, a lot of meetings. We're pursuing our careers and our dreams. There's like no way that we could plan a wedding right now. Absolutely not. I'm here to meet Pam and Kevin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I hear you want to get married, but you don't have time to plan the wedding. Definitely not. I'm here to make your wedding happen. Really? Mm -hmm. But there is one condition. And what is that? You have to hand over full control of your wedding day, and I mean everything. The wedding decor, the dress, to one of your mothers. Excuse me? You can't pick the dress, you can't pick the flowers, you can't pick the place, nothing. Your mom couldn't even plan a birthday party. She can't plan a wedding. I don't think so. Your mom doesn't really know fun. Pam and Kevin, I need your answer now. I mean, it is odd, but we don't really have time. I know, I have no time Are you at ready all. to do this? Sure. I guess. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Now let's get you married. I feel like my mom could do a good job. Doing I it? feel that my mom could do a better job, to be honest with you. They really seem a little leery about giving control to either one mom or the other. Introducing the moms. Pamela's mom, Donna, is young at heart and in attitude. Donna, Donna, Donna. I'm super spontaneous and outgoing. Donna! My life is all about my kids, my friends. OK, come on, you guys, ice cream. Uh, my family and fun. Finally, machine the way I love Here, it. Give me one. Skittles? What does it look like? <laughs> I mean, she could be a little bit wild, but she cares about her kids. Her kids are like number one. A little bit wild? And she's fun. Ah! Really out there. I'm a big kid at heart. What can I say? <laughs> Donna's definitely one of those wild childs. Like, uh, I can't believe that's your mom. Like, whoa. I'm not married. I'm a single mom. My mom is like a super dater. Wow. Hi, Donna. Hi. Looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. So what do you think about my chair? Do you like it? Do you think it's sexy? <laughs> I thought, wow, that will go with my cat, <laughs> which is in the bed. Kevin's mom, Paulette, is a strong, hot-blooded woman from Guyana. I'm serious, I'm tough, and I'm dependable. She's a beast. My mom, Paulette, is the only Guyanese woman right now that's jogging in the streets. In February, she's very protective of her three sons. Too protective of her sons. Paulette can be up in our relationship a little bit too much. Wow. 
With in-laws, opposites don't always attract. I know Paulette. She's very tough and very disciplined. I find I'm more serious with stuff than Donna is. We don't really get along that well. Donna is like a big kid. Sticky. She's so hardcore. She runs in the middle of winter, and she's from a tropical country. Donna could not even find Guyana in a map. Guyana? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know Geography aside, it's the wedding day that matters. I see it very like um, modern, fun, young, like how we are. I would love very much for it to be a traditional wedding. It's going to be a high-end masquerade party. And it has to be a uh, rum cake. I don't like it. It's sticky and it smells. I want to have a cupcake cake oh. with little masks all around the cupcakes. No. <sighs> I would like to see Pam in a nice fitted, off the shoulder, nice, puffy, flowing dress. For Pam's dress, it's going to be part masquerade, part beach. It's going to be mermaid style and super tight fitting. The most important thing for me is that we have this wedding in Guyana. I don't want Pam to fly to Guyana. I don't want a Guyanese wedding, and I don't even know what a Guyanese wedding is. Guyana is where I'm from. I was born there. I want a Guyanese wedding, so we're going to have a Guyanese wedding, whether you like it or not. It's not happening. We're not having Guyanese wedding, Guyanese food, nothing. It's time for Gina to lay down some rules for this family to follow. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen, and this part is key. The losing mom will have to be the winning mom's assistant. I have no problem with that, providing that she can agree with what I want to do. That's if you win. It's Good all luck. about organization and getting it right. I'll pray for you. Keep it for yourself. Paulette could obviously turn out to be the perfect planner, but Donna may be this hidden artist. I don't think we know what we're getting ourselves into. If Donna were to win, it would be a total disaster. Paulette's going to be my assistant because Paulette's really boring and I'm a lot of fun. I'm going to win this wedding. Coming up with an inspired wedding plan in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decision Pam and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. If my mom, Donna, did this wedding, I can see just wild, crazy, like... Meow! <laughs> open bar dancers and fire shows, like, exactly. out of the box. Yep. This one's for Kevin, and this one's for Pam. You said the wedding was, like, a beach theme? Mm, a masquerade beach theme. The weirdest wedding ever. Like, crazy. With my mom, Paulette, it's probably going to be very organized, very traditional. I'm looking for something Guyanese that represents my wedding vision. Mm, maybe boring. Very cultured. The drum, for instance. OK, I found my biggest drum. It drums from both sides. It's nice and loud, good for parties. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm not afraid it's going to be boring, because I know it's going to be exciting, because that's what our culture is all about. I Thank know. you very Thank much. You. Thanks for your help. Good Bye. luck with the wedding. Time's up, and the moms have to lay it on the line for Gina. My vision for the wedding is going to be a masquerade beach party wedding. Masquerade Ma beach party wedding. Yeah. My vision for the wedding is a traditional Guyanese wedding. The most important thing is that the wedding happened in Guyana. I want to have a lot of fun. So we're going to have um, a Sunday bar with ice creams. OK. Our tradition for weddings is bright colors. Imagine a candy bar, a lot of colors, a lot of sweets. OK. Do you like a candy? Oh, I'm good for now. Thank you. I'm going to have one, OK? Go. Mm, one more. <laughs> also, the big thing, too, is the mobby back. Hmm. You boil it, and then it's strained and sweetened with uh, brown sugar. So that would be like a cocktail at the wedding? Yeah. We're going to have nice sundresses for the beach. It's just fun sundresses on the beach with masks. Yes. This is one of our national flowers. With the flowers, we like to use other bright colors with it, too. Out of these other flowers that we can put to this to do in the bouquet. So this would be the part of the wedding, too. Some Sand on the beach, of course. Love that. With some parrot, a parrot there. This parrot? Well, just inspiration? Yeah. OK. Do you ha have this in your home? Uh, yeah, he just sits out in the mantle. On the mantle? Yes. Her dress, of course, would be elegant, nice, puffy, flowing white, and some gold accessory at the top and on the dress. I have pinatas all over the place. I always like a church wedding. OK. This is going to be the mask for the groom. I'll show you. OK. That's for the groom. The bride's mask. Do you like it? Oh, uh, all right. Let's see what else you have. So, no live music. I'm going to have a DJ. 
I don't want a DJ, I want drums. Fun, 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 fun. That's all we're gonna have, fun, fun. <laughs> I think I got it. So some of the negatives. Uh, I think there's a reason why no one does a masquerade beach wedding. Okay. <laughs> because I think it's a lot. Guyana, where is it? How far would it be for people to travel? It's about an eight hour flight. That could cut down on the guest list considerably. If I can go in and sort of make it the best of the best pieces that you have. Thank you. Um, and maybe take a few pieces out. Gina, I really want it to be a masquerade wedding on a beach. Uh, I don't want to compromise my vision. So. And I'm here to help you. I want to help you. Give me some time to figure out, you know, what I could do to sort of make this whole masquerade beach theme work together. Okay, that's fair. I have a traditional rum cake and cupcakes and ice cream cones. I have tree bark uh, and I have lollipops. I'm baffled. I'm the right mom to pull this off because I'm going to create the best, the most funnest wedding ever. I know I can make it fun and enjoyable and a rememberable moment for everybody. I think that there's a possibility that these kids aren't going to like either pitch. Pamela and Kevin arrive to see what their moms have come up with and choose a wedding winner. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Definitely. Let's do it. Unknown to the couple, both their moms are backstage watching and listening. Oh, wow. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready for presentation number one? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. <laughs> that looked like if it's a kid party, and even a kid party do better than that. It's fun. <laughs> it's like a fun... Colorful fiesta. <laughs> Donna's vision is a tropical masquerade beach party. How are we gonna have a masquerade party and a beach party at the same time? This is totally confusing. Have, you gotta decide what you want. We can have it together all at once. That's totally miss. You'd be getting married in a tropical destination. The ceremony and reception would take place on the beach. Nice. Moms would wear flirty summer dresses. Pam, your wedding gown tight-fitted mermaid dress. Guests could wear flip-flops. There will be no traditional wedding cake at this wedding. We're we gonna have chocolate bars? Donna is envisioning a Sunday bar and a candy bar. Lots and lots of sweets. Make your own Sundays. That's so fun. Wow, the kids are gonna love this. Now, since Donna's theme is a masquerade party, she would love to see the guests wearing Mardi Gras masks. It's mm. fun, it's creative. My mom is nuts. There will be a DJ at this wedding. No live band. Well, that's a plus. I really like the fact that it's on a beach. That's that's amazing. I also really like the fact that you'd be wearing a mermaid dress, so that should be very hot. But everything else, it looks like a 12-year-old's wedding. Take the feathers out. Take all the candies out. You need cake and real food there. Are you ready for presentation number two? Please. I, I oh, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something much better. <laughs> 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 Let's, 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 let's just go. <laughs> let's go. Paulette's vision is a traditional Guyanese wedding. You would be traveling to Guyana. Hell no. I don't even know where Guyana is. A traditional black rum cake. Traditional Guyanese drumming. You can't have an entire wedding with just drums playing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Non-alcoholic drinks at the wedding? No alcohol. On my wedding day? What? Bye. <laughs> you don't gotta get drunk to have fun. The wedding will take place in a traditional Guyanese church. Lots and lots of candles, very elegant, very formal. Pam, your dress. More of a princess style dress, a very full skirt. I would like to make his mom happy and find something that I would like in it. I think you have a big decision to make. Clearly. Yeah, they're no not gonna, the kids gonna no, pick they're not going to pick your vision. They ain't going to pick yours either. And I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. Boy. Paulette and Donna can no longer listen in, while Pamela and Kevin decide on which vision and mother will win. Could you honestly see us doing this? Seriously. You could be like, good evening, guests. Would you like a virgin daiquiri? <laughs> <laughs> we play the drums for ya. 
It's kind of tropical like the other one. Let's not even talk about the other one. This is so fun. It's like youthful, Feed you, you know? some friggin' worms? Yeah, like... I would eat this. These are like my favorite. Look at this crap. Feathers, well, mask. I mean, it's not ideal either, but... I'm a grown-ass man. I don't give a boat. 12-year-old fun. At least my dress won't be this big, like, princess poofy gown. Here you can see my, like, shape. Wait, what, a mask on your face? We have to pick something. <sighs> Pam and Kevin, have you made your decision? Well, we decided to go... Wait, don't tell me. Tell your moms. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. <laughs> Sorry. Let your moms know who you've decided on. Oh my God, my heart is yeah. Well, hmm. we have decided to go with the. Uh, beach theme. Yeah! <laughs> I just can't believe I won. I'm very disappointed. I'm not like. <laughs> oh my God. I prayed for this moment. <clears throat> Did you pray? No. There you go. Mom, you know I love you, but. I feel real hurt about this. Then I gotta go back and tell the family that I didn't win. I don't even think I wanna come. Oh. My mom was so disappointed. Honestly, I didn't even know. <laughs> how to say sorry to her. <sighs> Congratulations, Donna. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> My God, I can't believe this is great. Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. I will. And Paulette, you're Donna's wedding assistant. You're going to help her pull her vision together. All right, moms, we've got one week to plan this wedding. Let's get to work. Paulette lost, I won, and she's gonna have to do what I say. She is crazy, Donna, it's crazy. It's like, give her one drink and that's the end of the wedding. It's gonna be World War III. Hey, that's Honestly, really cool. I'm just, I'm just saying. You'll be able just, to do it. It's gonna be a disaster. It won't. I just know it. Nah, it won't. With the wedding countdown on, Donna and her assistant, Paulette, begin with the dress. Okay, I'm gonna have to blindfold you, so... You can't be serious. Honestly, Mom, do we have to do this? Yes, we do. Oh, baby, this is gonna be great. Oh, look at you, you're gonna be beautiful. Do you want any water or anything? I want a miracle. Pamela is blindfolded. She picked her mom's vision, so Donna will pick her dress. Okay, hold on to that one. The last time my mom dressed me, I was about five wearing leggings with a mullet. Oh, this one's very elegant. Look at this. Not feeling anything for them. Doesn't matter. These are the dresses we're gonna try on her, and you're gonna go along with it. I'm not happy with being done as assistant. Follow me. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Oh, my poor son. Oh my gosh. So what do you think? Does she look beautiful? Do you like it? Hmm. Not what I would have picked. It's her style, I think. This is what you really want for, for Pam. Yeah, this is what I want. I love it. It's beautiful. I want to be picking no, up for my daughter. this is perfect for her. They look so plain, so... Just, there's, there's nothing, absolutely nothing to that dress. Mom, I mean, are you sure? Like, everything that Paulette is saying, it seems like this is a disaster and she hates it. Forget about her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm trusting you. Seriously. Pam, I got more dresses to try on. Come on, baby, let's go. The dresses that Donna is choosing for Pam, I just find those dresses just too plain. They're too simple. There should be something more. It's your wedding. <laughs> Look at her. She's gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Look. What is this dress? This one I can tell them by the, the expression person. on your face. I love it. I love no. it. If you just... see a really nice dress, I don't know what you would do with yourself because I don't find nothing excited about that. I don't care what you say. I love this dress. Look, it's perfect. But you said the same thing it's, about the it's first absolutely one. absolutely stunning. See... How can you not like this? It's beautiful. What do you think? I mean... They're just going to bitch you and get married in any kind of dress? OK, guys. Forget about her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I love this dress so I really much. like how this one feels, Mom. No way. You couldn't get me right nothing. This is a perfect nothing. dress for a beach. See, oh, it's soft. My son beauty. gotta stand up beside her. There's pictures gonna oh, be taken. Go and you away. Expect. You know what? I had enough of this. I'm gonna go pick a dress. Okay, this is a good dress. 
Let's put her in this. I'm not crazy about Paulette right now, to be honest. She makes terrible choices. Put the dress back. I've made my decision. Wearing this blindfold is the perfect way to look at this wedding. Scoot! It's pretty nerve-wracking. We're supposed to be working together, but it ain't happening. There's no teamwork in there at all. There's no way her negative attitude is going to get in my way. Donna demands her beach vision be realized. She takes Paulette shopping for dresses fit for a seaside wedding. Here, this is the one for you. That's... I don't like it, though. That woman got no sense of style. Look at that. The colors are perfect. Don't push it up on me. I don't like it. What about this? No. I don't, the colors aren't right. I don't find anything right about these, neither. What about this? No. Is there ever any pleasing you with anything? OK, how about this one? No. If he's so shut down, so pushed out by Donna. She's not agreeing with anything I say or do. This is supposed to be fun. I want you to work with me. I got no problem with you telling me what to wear, but I got to like it. I don't know why she's being a pain in the butt. Let's just go try the dresses on. I just love it. It's definitely not me. Don't like it. I'm ready. How do you look? Like crap, because this is not me. I feel like if I'm going to work. We have at least three more to try on. Whatever. It's so blue. <laughs> This is the worst idea you ever had. Two more dresses. Paulette, are you coming out? No, I am not. Ah, oh, this is the one. This is it. Oh, yeah, that's the one for you. I don't know. Huh? Okay, we'll oh, see. I don't know. I love it. This, like, look at that. I'm happy with my decision to make you wear this dress. Look at that. I'm assisting a crazy woman, and I don't know what's going to be happening with this wedding. All I know is I look hot in my dress, she looks hot in hers. we got to move on. i got a million things to do. Masks are key to Donna's masquerade beach wedding. She drags her assistant to select wedding day disguises. How much you need? I need six for the groomsmen and six for the bridesmaids. Oh, good luck. Do you expect my son and his friends to wear these masks? I do. I'll make sure you don't get any for me, because I sure ain't going to be wearing that. Hmm. I never thought that they would have come and I had to stand up and watch my kid look like a clown with these. This is a masquerade wedding, so yeah. if you don't like it, tough. She's not into having fun. Find something that you're going to be oh. happy in. This is natural, and that's what I want. and miserable. I ain't doing it. A mask, I'm not me. It's like I'm covering up something, like I'm hiding something, and I got nothing to hide. Do you like that? No. You wear it. Suits you, not me. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be wearing it at the wedding. I don't have to wear anything that I don't want to be wearing. No, no, no. I hate being forced to do oh, things that I don't want to do. stop whining. And I'm just getting tired of being told that I'm going to have to wear this mask. Let's find you a mirror here. Are you out of your mind? You think I'm going to be wearing this? She's got to accept my vision. I won, and she's my assistant. I don't want to be a, an assistant, because it's like I, I'm just being second to it, and I don't want to be second. This, this is gonna... one thing I am not wearing. You are. Listen, let's get this straight. It ain't happening. I am not wearing it. Definitely not. If it you don't happen. like it, don't come. You know what? Listen. You keep that. I thought this was going to be a lot of fun, but it's turning out to be a total nightmare. I am not going to be a part of this. I can't convince her. Gina? Yeah? I am done with this. It's like, it's not happening. I'm not happy at all, and I'm totally finished with this wedding stuff, because I am not pleased with it. OK, Paulette, I need you to calm down. I have a solution. I'm going to email you an address. I want you to meet me there tomorrow. Will you bring Donna? Yes, I would. OK, fine. OK, Paulette, I'll see you tomorrow. OK. The moms are stalemated. With no other options, Donna goes along with Paulette to meet with Gina. I'm really upset that Paulette called Gina, and I don't understand what we're doing in this house. At this point, these moms are clearly not able to find any common ground. Thanks for meeting me here. Paulette, I got your call. What's going on? I don't like the, the mass. I don't want to be covered up. She doesn't like any of it. Okay. She, she's not cooperating at all. We have a destination wedding in two days. Paulette, I need you to be the person that organizes this wedding, that makes sure it happens. 
Yes, it's Donna's vision, but I need you to deliver that vision. Donna wants to have a masquerade party on the beach, and that's what we're going to give her. But we really, really need you on board. If you don't want to wear the mask, you do not have to wear the mask for the wedding. OK. Bring the mask, though. Okay. Because I think that you may feel left out in the end. OK, I have no problem with that. Second, you don't have to wear the dress that Donna picked out for you. OK. And Paul, let you get one more thing. We will have a traditional Guyanese rum cake at the wedding. I love it. <laughs> this is your responsibility. And when we get to the island, you're going to have to make the wedding cake. OK. All right. Donna, are you OK with this? Not, I'm not happy about any of it. I, I'm pretty sure I can do this on my own. I, I don't need her help. I need you two to work together, or this wedding isn't going to happen. We need her. OK. I thought it was going to be up to me to plan the wedding. Donna's been in control up until this point, and nothing's been done. We have so much to do. I'm going to be the executive assistant. Now there is going to be a wedding. The reason I called you here today is to meet my pastry chef friend. Hello, Paulette. Nice to meet you. And Me Donna, our mother of the bride. Hello. Hello, Donna. Nice to meet you. I'm going to leave you with Amelia. She's going to teach you how to make an amazing rum cake for the wedding. OK. OK, play nice. When you're the assistant, it's easy to whine and complain. But now that I'm giving Paulette some responsibility, let's see how she does. Whatever. I want you to do the work. OK. I'm just going to supervise, OK? OK. Yeah, OK, Paul please. this guy? Yeah. OK. Yeah, that's good. This is the key ingredient. Without the rum and the wine, you don't have rum cake. OK. OK. I'm loving this. You're doing good. I'm having the best time making this cake. What's next? OK, the next is we're going to puree our fruits. I can smell the aroma of the rum yes, and the fruit. Yes, it's awesome. I would like you to break some, um, break some eggs for me. Oh, no, thank you. You know, we are all teens. It's OK. No, I, I'm not a part of this. We'll get this it done without her. Something okay. she wanted to do. Excuse so. me, OK. Please. OK. Thank you. OK. OK, so do I put the butter in first or rub the butter? I didn't want to have a rum cake. because It wasn't in my vision. It's gross, it's bitter, and, and it's really strong tasting. And I wanted everything to be colorful and fun. OK, it's hot. Leave it on the rack. Let me get you a plate. Mm -mm. Mm. This is heavenly. I'm really tense, being that I've never made a rum cake before, but I intend to give it my all. That's, I guess that's all I can do. Pamela, a professional hairdresser, brings Kevin to her salon to tidy him up before the flight. I'm here to check in on Pam and Kevin. I want to make sure that A, they're OK, and B, they're on that plane. Are we in a happy place? No. No, not me. Not at all. We don't know what we're getting into when we get there. Are we going to enter into a colorful disaster? You promised me you're going to take care of this, and we have our moms at each other's throats. Kevin, your mom was upset. Obviously, she didn't win, and now she has to be Donna's assistant, so it was tough. But um, they're, they're back in a happy place, so we need you to get there, too. We can try our best. But all we can think about right now is, like, the disaster and not knowing what to expect. Come on, you guys. I mean, snap out of it. We're going to a tropical island. We're trying, Dude, we're trying, we're trying. What is the issue? Just the fear, a mask? you know? Yeah, I guess so. I will take care of this. <sighs> Trust her. OK. Everyone has arrived and is getting acquainted with island time. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. You're so nice and relaxed. Yes, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Where is everyone? Kevin and Pam is over in the water over there, and Donna is somewhere up, somewhere back there. On the slide? We're on the slide. Hi, Gina! Hi, Hi. Donna! Oh, it's going to be an interesting two days, Paulette. Very interesting. Gina's given them the rest of the day off, but tomorrow, it's go time. The time crunch is on. Gina and Donna check out the beach location for the ceremony. Donna, just focus for one minute, OK? Take this in. I need you to look at me. This is a risk. It's beautiful. Yes, I know, it's beautiful. But we could do something indoors that's all windows that would no, show this no, perfectly. No. 
We can take the chance. More than likely, it'll be the perfect day. You don't want to check it out? Do you even no, want to look? No, no. This is the perfect place. This is what I wanted. 90 degree heat, possible rain, ice cream bar melting, guests in masks sweating. Perfect. It's going to be fun. All right, come on, Yay! more planning, more planning. We have more planning to do. Donna is like a child. She just will not listen to what I'm telling her. I know Gina has concerns about the wedding, but, um, and the masquerade and the ice cream, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be perfect. Paulette really needs to become the executive assistant. We need her now. She's doing, she just sit in there. Just imagine, we got a wedding. Donna, if you want to be giving out these masks to this wedding, you need to get crack and get up. Let's go take them. I mean, this was your idea, but it's mask business. No okay. time to relax. Come Can on. I bring my drink? Yes, bring it, whatever. Okay. Just get going. Come on, come on. Gee whiz. My main, main goal is to see that this wedding go on in time. Room 305. What do you think about the one with the feathers? Right now, I don't really give a darn. Just put the thing on and let's go. Got to kind of get it going a little fast because we got quite a few to do. Let's get going. Time is going. I am going to make it happen. To keep the details a surprise, the wedding rehearsal will go on without the bride and groom. Donna, bring the next girl down, right in front. Turn around right in front, in front of her. Donna, tell her nice and slow. Right in front, in front, in front. Oh my goodness, this is really happening. How's this look? Wonderful. Girls, it's move perfect. up just a little bit. You're happy? I'm happy, satisfied. I'm starting to feel like a real wedding planner. Where are you putting a mask? Where are you having ice cream cone or whatever? I think it's all ridiculous. Okay, guys, this is where we need you to be tomorrow. Good job, guys. I should have just stayed home because this is a total mess. The couple meet up with the guests at the rehearsal party. Looks good. So Fortunately, yeah. I got your sweet tooth. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I didn't get one of those. I'm, yeah, I'm going to need about five or six more rum punches. Hi, dear. What are you doing? How is everything going? I'm getting some drinks, some rum punches for my freeples. I'm still not kind of sure with this masquerade thing going on with mask and ice cream and all this heat. Am I going to be happy? I don't think so. Well, you know what? Maybe I should have these drinks to myself. Kevin needs to know that this whole thing is crazy. He needs to get a little sense of what he's walking into because it's downright ridiculous. Well, Pam and I would like to thank you guys for coming out. We just want to say that we're really appreciative that you came, and I don't want to cry, so... And she's crying <laughs> already. We don't know what's happening. Like, we just love you, and... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Have some drinks. Gina arrives to join the party, but the couple want to discuss their wedding woes. I can't wear the mask I'm, for the ceremony. I'm not wearing the mask for the ceremony. No way. I get that you don't love the masquerade ball, but it was the vision that you chose. You have to wear the masks. I wear can't the masks. wear the masks. Wear the mask when and where? For the ceremony. I'm going to walk in and see my wife-to-be in a mask. That's like a lasting impression, like, forever. I got married to a mask, a costume no, junkie. It's, honestly, it can't happen. It's not going to happen. OK. I'm going to compromise. You can wear the masks walking down the aisle. When you get to the front, you can take the masks off. That's not, oh my that's God. not really a compromise. <laughs> you won't have to wear them throughout the whole ceremony, which is what Donna wanted. Your mother's crazy. This is her vision. You guys chose it. This is the way we have to go. You will take the mask off, ma'am, when you get down to the front, OK? Enjoy yourselves. We're get back board. to the party. All righty. You know it's your fault, right? No. It's your crazy ass mother. The big day is here, and it's finally time for Pamela to see her dress. Now listen to me and listen good. When you see you get in there, you get her in the dress, you got an hour, because there's a lot of things to do downstairs. The venue still gotta be happening, and I need you downstairs. Okay. So get on in there and do your stuff. And don't keep me waiting. Okay, check. Okay, honey, open your eyes. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. 
do you think? I really like it. It's now hitting me like I'm actually getting married. The dress made it feel official. It just feels like real now. It just, it's like reality. I'm getting married today. <laughs> Honey, it looks so beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's you. It shows your shape. It's, it's gorgeous. Look at it. I mean, it's. I look very curvaceous, like a diva, glam squad. It's gonna look magnificent with a mask. It's gonna ruin it with a mask. <laughs> with less than two hours left, Paulette borrows the resort's kitchen to try her hand at rum cake. It's very important to me for the rum cake to be perfect. God, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. This doesn't look anything like the like a, what a rum cake's supposed to look like. Not at all. I'm a little worried because this is the only cake we have for this wedding. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, my goodness. And I'm running out of time. Gina sets the stage for the ceremony. It's only two people walking down the aisle at a time. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Gina. Uh, where's Donna? She's not here. I haven't seen her. So what's going on? I need your help now. Okay, okay. I'll look for Donna. Okay. See the reception area right there? Okay. There's bags of stuff. You'll okay. see where they go. Could you start that? Sure. And I'm gonna finish this. Okay, good. Thank I'll you. I'll look for Donna. Okay. Paulette's been working with Donna constantly. She left for one afternoon to do the rum cake, came back, and Donna was nowhere to be found. Oh my god, nothing hasn't been done. What's going on? She was. I just left to go, see what the cake, get my dress on, and I come back and it's a disaster. Things are not done. Oh my God. Hi. I've had it. Nothing is done. Look at this place. So I mean, what, like, um... oh, you mean so what? Okay, I'll get it. You together. wanted all this, right? I didn't ask all this business was going on. Look, I end up okay, either spilling sorry. the food. Okay, I'll clean it up. Clean it up, get the things fixed. I'm done. Like, I am done. Why is everyone freaking out on me? Donna, let's go. Oh, we gotta set up. Speakers are up, lanterns, chairs are out, ashes tied in knots. No time. Come on, Donna. That one's okay. We have people coming into the ceremony now. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding to begin. And everyone puts on their masks. Well, almost. Here comes the bride, mask in place. Pam and Kevin, you're here to give yourselves to each other. So Kevin, you need to get something. <laughs> How's the ring? Not in there? Did you give it to me? The ring? I didn't box you out. We have a problem. <laughs> He's lying! Ah! <laughs> give him the box. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Take you, Pam. Take you, Pam. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. For as long. For as long. As we both shall live. As we both shall live. Hi, <laughs> Pam. Hi, Pam. Take you, Kevin. Take you, Kevin. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. <laughs> and to cherish you. And cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Richards. You may now 
kiss your bride. Go ahead. Okay, well, my note to Kevin says, Kevin, my husband and best friend, I promise to give you my 100% and nothing less forever. I love you forever. XO, 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 Penny. Kevin and Pam forever. These are my words to stay together. God, love, faith, family, communications, unity, happiness, positive and trust. To my lovely wife, letting you know faith brought us together and love will keep us together. Kevin. He is mushy. <laughs> Vows spoken, dusk settled in, bring on the party, island style. This is it. Let's introduce Mr. Kevin and this is Pamela Richards. Where's our lovely mothers? <laughs> Me and Kevin just want to say from the bottom of our hearts how happy we are that you guys went through all of this. And we love you. Well, everyone's enjoying themselves. We had their beach wedding. It was Donna's vision. It was Donna's vision realized. It was great. I loved it. I mean, the, I just, the beach, the view was amazing. Could have been better. The masks were great. I just couldn't get with the mask because it's something I just didn't like. I still hold out that I didn't want to wear it. The dress is gorgeous. When I started coming down the aisle, I was like, this is my queen. I just, it was, I was stunned. Everybody loved my Sunday bar. It just blew my mind. Even though Paulette and Donna are two completely different people, it worked. Sometimes when you do things different, it's nice. They don't always got to be the same traditional way. Changes are nice. You did a great part, too. <laughs> Donna did a good job, didn't she? Yeah, she pulled it off this <laughs> yes. time. And now for Paulette's rum cake debut. Yeah, bite of yeah. mm. It's so good. You did an awesome job. Mm, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a masquerade feather gumball party on the beach. How did I ever not do this before? Meet Becky and Ryan. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. Everything? Everything. I am definitely, definitely high end. I can shoot a gun, but my weapon of choice is the crossbow. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a complete nightmare? This is my day. You keep ruining it. May the best mom win. Becky and Ryan are the cutest couple who just happen to be crazy in love. Becky is kind of this really cute, bubbly personality that it's just so hard to say no to. Hey, Ryan, come and get a cupcake. I'm probably whipped. <laughs> Not probably, you are whipped. <laughs> yeah. I like Ryan's jawbones, physically. <laughs> I like his laid back personality. He's really up for anything. Whatever I say usually goes. Of course. <laughs> We play a lot of video games. We're almost there. We almost got him. We're almost there. Woo! Yes! Good job. Yes, we got him. You're the hottest nerd, Dragon Slayer. He helps me with my cupcakes sometimes. He likes eating them more than actually making them. Can I eat this one? Well, I guess. You make the best cupcakes. Thanks. I am a little cupcake. <laughs> sometimes my cupcake gives me a little sugar. Just a little. Well, it definitely wasn't love at first sight. We went on a date, and I was just kind of like, OK, this is something. I'll try it. And then just in getting to know him, I just loved everything about him. From that point on, it was as easy as one, two, three. Becky and Ryan are ready to be wed. But if it's left up to them, they'll never get there. 
was so busy. He had, does a lot of freelance work with his side business for programming, and I'm starting up a cupcake business. <laughs> no matter how sticky sweet this duo is, there won't be a wedding without a little push from wedding planner pro Gina Sole. I'm here to meet up with Becky and Ryan today, an adorable couple that has no idea what's about to happen. I hear you guys are engaged, yeah. but don't have the time to tie the knot. No, we don't. <laughs> We're very busy. Well, I can make your wedding happen. Great. But there is one condition. And what would that be? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything, to one of your mothers. Uh. <laughs> everything? Everything. It's always every girl's dream to plan their wedding. Won't get to pick your wedding gown. Won't get to pick the flowers, the venue, the invitations, nothing. Do you trust your mom? Of course I, I trust my mom. I trust my mom. I need your answer now. I, we'll do it. Yeah, I think, think it's our only option at this point. You'll do it? Yeah. Great. Let's get you married. <laughs> OK, great. Right. Our mothers are very different. So the themes that they're going to be planning will be very different in themselves. Yeah, I think we'll see polar opposites. Our couple is correct. Becky's mom is a confident and controlling diva who's got a penchant for travel and being treated like a queen. Can you have the car ready in 10 minutes, please? I love shopping. I wear heels every day to work. I like to go to the spa. I like to get my nails done. I like to relax in the bath with a good martini. I am definitely, definitely high end. She's definitely high flair. Ryan is a super laid back guy. He's a computer geek and a gamer. So it was a little bit off that Becky picked him, but they say opposites attract, so I think they make a good couple. Ryan's mom, Val, is a laid back country gal who likes hunting and trapping and is the epitome of everything earthy. I live in a small town. All there really is to do here is just fish, hunt, or hang out in the barn and have a few beers. Thank you. Oh. I'm a get my hands dirty kind of gal. I'm very independent. I work in the garden. I do a lot of my own maintenance and I can kill my own meat. Not everybody has a mom who's handy with a crossbow. Bullseye. Ooh. To describe my son, he makes me proud for him to call me mom. I think Becky, she's extremely lucky to have found Ryan. These moms are from opposite ends of the spectrum. Val and I are nothing alike. I find Anita to be more of a city snob. Val is the country bumpkin. Anita's really fancy. She goes to the gym, she gets her nails done, she gets facials, and she loves to shop. I go to the grocery store to buy my organic meat. Val shoots her meat in the head. I'm very sociable, I'm organized. I'm just that little bit off. It seems there's no common ground when it comes to planning for these nuptials. We want to go away somewhere. Imagine Ryan and Becky running through the forest. He's carrying her. When you walk in, you think you've entered a castle. With his fedora and her f flowing white gown on. A beautiful princess dress with a big skirt. But no shoes. And of course, the bling bling tiara on top. As a boulder's chasing him through the forest. <laughs> a simple chocolate and vanilla wedding cake. A three or four tiered cake. A pig roast buffet. A five course meal. There's a band here in town. Has to be a DJ. They play everything from country to rock and roll to a polka. And I definitely don't want to hear one polka. No matter what tune our moms are dancing to, it's time for Gina to lay down the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both of your visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen, and this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. To take direction from Val would be probably the lowest of low that I could experience. Val, how are you feeling about this? Are you okay? I'm feeling all right about this because I know I'm going to win and I can always use the help. Anita? I guess I have no choice if I have to work with Al. I guess I have to work with her, but I'd like it better if she was working for me. May the best mom win.
I'm going to try and do my best to win this so that Ryan and myself, we have a say and that we at least get what we want. My daughter is not getting married in a barn. That will never happen. No way, no how. I don't think these moms realize how difficult this is going to be. They have 48 hours to put this together. They're in it now. They can't back out and we'll see what happens. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items to explain their wedding vision. I'm a little worried about Anita throwing the wedding because I think it'll cost a ton of money. My vision for my daughter's wedding is fairy tale, so I'm hoping to find some princess items. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. My daughter's getting married. Right, I'd love okay. to see the tiaras. Yep. Here. Oh, they're beautiful. This is the one that That's really has it. the most volume. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I have to have it for my princess. Done. If Val was planning our wedding, she'd probably hold it on her farm. Anita's bling is the very opposite of what Val and her partner Ken are shopping for. I need some celery root. These cooked with the pig. Perfect. I want some vine rope. I think it's important to bring this in so that everybody can actually have a sense of where we come from. Can you kind of hurry? Sorry to rush. The clocks run out. Time for the moms to show their visions to Gina. And both have agreed to a destination wedding that will make the couple happy. What is your vision? A rustic country outdoor wedding on a tropical island. Okay. Tropical fairy tale princess. This is the hat that I would love to have Ryan wear. The whole country boy kind of thing. I see a beautiful draped canopy with nice, soft, flowing fabric. Twinkle lights have to be a part of the decor. Tiki torches and some shells. Gourmet food. Pig roast. <laughs> fruits and vegetables, you know, the potatoes, the tomatoes, everything, you know, that could be put on a grill. As goes for the cake, Ryan only likes vanilla and Becky likes her chocolate. I would love to make it just so that it's homemade. It's from my heart that it's something that I can give to them, that it's just from the country and that explains who I am. Would you like to try a piece? Did you make it? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. I made it myself. Delicious. Okay. Sold. I need a tiered cake. It has to be at least this tall. I love live music. Has to be a DJ. As goes for the dress, I would like to see something with lace. Very soft, very romantic. And for the bride, my daughter Becky, I envision a beautiful princess gown with a big full skirt, some beautiful beading. I'd also like her to wear beautiful long gloves like Cinderella would. I would like to see do-it-yourself centerpieces. The final touch, a beautiful sparkling tiara. We have a lot to work with here, so let's put together a perfect presentation. And I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. I really want to win this. My daughter won't let me down. She will pick my vision, and I will deliver it. Val's a little nervous, and then I met Anita, and I was a little nervous, because I think if Anita doesn't win, there's going to be a huge, huge war. It's time for Becky and Ryan to see what their moms have in mind for the big day. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Hi, you guys. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Good Hi. to see you again. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. Okay. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Right. Right. Okay. Are you ready to see the first presentation? Let's yeah. do it. Wow. Holy pink. Anita's vision is a tropical fairy tale princess wedding. It will take place in a tropical destination. You will arrive at your ceremony by horseback. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the ceremony will take place under a pink and white chiffon canopy filled with twinkle lights and dramatic bright flowers. I definitely like the twinkle lights, it's very pretty. Becky, your dress would be very dramatic. Strapless with lots of bling around the waist. Okay. And a giant poofy skirt. It's pretty, but I think it'll be kind of hot for a destination wedding. You'll wear long gloves and a tiara. You'll have a DJ, you will not have a live band. We'd have a served four course dinner for you. Very elegant, very formal. Topped off with a four-tier wedding cake. That's huge. <laughs> four tiers. 
years. Your vision's just way too fancy. That's what a wedding looks like. The centerpieces will be large vases filled with floating candles and very brightly colored flowers. Looks very pretty. I love those flowers. The candles is a good touch, too. Are you ready to see presentation number two? Yeah, I'm excited. Definitely. <laughs> this is amazing. Val's vision is an outdoor rustic country wedding in a tropical destination. This is so hillbilly. Because Val is from a small town, she'd like to have the wedding in a local village. The aisle would be filled with tiki torches and mason jars filled with candles to make it rustic and romantic. Ryan, you would wear the adventurer hat. That is almost as cool as the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, you would be in a lace gown off the shoulders the skirt would be very long and flowing. You'll be switching the flip-flops later in the evening. Cool. Good for a tropical destination. Mary. Why don't you just get married in a bikini? Music, a live band, not a DJ. Val will pick the band. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the mustard? The menu, a very traditional down-home tropical buffet. Barbecue, jerk chicken, whole fish. Let's have a picnic in the backyard, shall we? Your mom will have her hand in all of this, including the menu. She may even be behind the grill. That would be amazing. Well, not for her, but for the food, it would be great. She's very into locally grown fruits and vegetables, topped off with a homemade wedding cake, vanilla and chocolate. Something for each of us. I like chocolate and you like vanilla. And Ryan, your mom actually made the cake. The centerpieces, do it yourself. It's interactive, so Val's thought was that people could really have their hand in creating these centerpieces. Arts and crafts. At a wedding. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 paint by numbers, yeah, yeah. My mom's vision is a lot more extravagant, whereas this one is just downscaled, but it's still very beautiful. Take some time to really think about the decision you're going to make. Good luck. Anita and Val are cut off while Becky and Ryan make their big decision. Which mom will be their wedding winner? I just think it's a little bit too much pink. I'm having trouble finding where things have been thrown in for me, and I don't even want to know how much it costs. I do really love the centerpieces, though. I love the orchids and the flowers and the candles together. It's all very elegant and very classy. I like that she's put a lot of effort into making it look like something that would make us proud to be there and make, make for a, a great event. But this is a tropical thing. Like, I'm going to be sitting in a suit all day in, in the blazing sun. Yeah. Like, does that work? That's what I'm not excited about is the dress, although it is very pretty. And I do love the rhinestone belts across it that she had said. The fullness, I just don't think it's fitting for a destination wedding. It is really nice looking, though. I think she was going with the princess theme, right? So everything is very extravagant, and including the dress. Despite the couple things that I'm really a little bit unsure of, I really do think my mom did an amazing job of Definitely. putting together this theme for us, because it's really down to earth. I've never had your mom's cake before. It's pretty good, actually. Here, try some. I want some of the chocolate. The chocolate? OK, well, I'll eat this. Mm. Oh, it's so good. This whole live band thing that's still Killing me. I don't want to be listening to country all night. I love live music, but I'm... maybe I can play. <laughs> yeah, you'd be about as good as the band my mom chooses. Whatever. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Live music always gets the crowd going. I am really worried about it, though. I think we kind of know which direction we're going in. Do you want to tell Gina? I think I can do it. I don't know if I would feel so confident in telling the decision to our moms. I can man up. I got this one. Okay. Hopefully the moms don't take it too hard. Yeah. Have you made your decision? We have. Well, wait. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <gasps> Becky, Ryan, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. <laughs> so please tell us, what is your decision? Well, I think that we've decided to go with my mom's vision. <laughs> I just can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Woo! Honestly, this feels better than shooting a deer. You're going to be all right, Mom? 
I thought it was what you wanted, but I guess I was wrong. Sorry, Mom. I've never had any luck telling my mom what to do, so good luck to Val. I don't plan to take this assistant business lying down. Congratulations, Val. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. Let's go. I'm ready. And Anita, you're going to be Val's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull the wedding together. Anita is probably going to be one of the worst wedding assistants ever. All right, moms, we've got one week to plan this wedding. Let's get to work. I'll make sure I sneak something in there that will throw Val on her side and have her head spinning. I can't believe I'm going on an island with these people. Yee freaking ha! First stop is all about taking care of the wedding menu. How does this store have anything to do with a wedding? Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Are we going camping? I've never been camping. I certainly don't want to go camping, and especially not for my daughter's wedding. This is what I need to cook. I can grill on this, chicken and fish on here. I'd like to make sure that I have all the right equipment just in case it's not there. And you're gonna grill it in your beautiful dress? Yes. And you're gonna be doing up some burgers? Oh, no, no, that's not happening. Anita. If you wanna get smoke in your hair and in your clothes, I won't. Stop being such a city snob and just do what I'm nope, asking sorry. you to do. And if not, you know what? You're gonna ruin everything for everybody. And if that's what you wanna do for your daughter, then so be it. But this is what we're going to do. Anita's being a little bit of a pain in my She's done nothing but give me a hard time since I've started this. Anita, your attitude really sucks. I wanna be the hostess to the people who are there, not the shorter to cook. As Anita recovers from her aversion to cooking, the moms shop for Val's do-it-yourself centerpieces. Val, I don't even know what we're doing here. How can we possibly be doing arts and crafts at a wedding? This is what's gonna be our centerpieces, so can you work with me? I can't believe that my daughter voted for this vision. What are your favorite paint colors? Hey, how about bright fuchsia? No. Pink's good? No. This is stupid. It's not stupid, just work with me. You're my assistant, so I really need you to be on your toes and do what I ask. Oh, glitter. There you go. Here's one for you there. Could you load me up any more? Okay, I'm gonna try. Here you go. Okay, let's go put some glitter on these centerpieces. I'm just happy to put them down. Do you wanna see the silver or would you like just gold? Come on, Anita, we can do this. Think of it this way, memories. What do you see for yours? Flowers? Oh, it's a surprise. What are you doing? That looks like a kindergarten kid did it. You know what? I never claim to be creative. This is your gig, not mine. See how breezy this kind of looks? Look at the color. Do another one. Try a little bit harder. You want color? How's that? Oh. There Anita, we go. come on. Oh, oh, this is fantastic. There that? we go. Oh. Are you going to work with me at all? I'm done. I showed her exactly what my talent was. It's just a complete disgrace. That just shows no respect for me or even what I'm trying to accomplish. Tempers are flaring, but the moms hold it together because Becky's most important element for the wedding is next. Val, I just want you to know today, I'm not helping you pick dresses. I'm picking my own dresses, and that's just the way it'll be. I'm sick of your attitude. You do yours, and I'll be fine. I will be doing my own thing. Good. Luckily, Becky can't witness the bickering because she's blindfolded. She won't see her dress until the big wedding day. And it's Val's decision. Okay, Beck, I found the most beautiful dresses for you to try, and you gotta try these on. You love Anita, the material. Anita, Anita. You love everything about them. Stop. I'm the winner. My theme. Your theme sucks. She's wrong. You know what, Val? She's not wrong. Stop. Both of you need to cool it, because, Mom, you need to let it go. I don't know why you're making it about you. We chose Val's theme. We need to try on her dresses today. Not even one? Please. Not one. Mom, your stop arguing. Please. Dresses. You know what? I'm out of here. Well, Becky, here's the dresses, and they're going to be beautiful. I'm not surprised that my mom and Val aren't getting along. She's kind of being a sore loser. Wow. Oh, right. my God, that is the most hideous dress I've ever seen in my life. What's that thing on the shoulder? That's Becky, a flower. it's disgusting. An island flower. It's absolutely disgusting. It makes you look like you're a whale. 
should not be. How could you say that makes her look like that? It's ugly. I'm so frustrated because my mom and Val keep arguing and it's just stressing me out. This is just the first one. Well, I hope you have more because this one ain't cutting it. I would die before I let her wear that. (gasps) Wow, this is perfect. Makes her figure look great. Everything about this, it's beautiful. I have one word for it. Yeah. Her attitude, it just sucks. I just can't believe that she's going this far. If it continues like this, the wedding will be a disaster. Wow. That's beautiful. Imagine this with the breeze. It's beautiful. No, it's it's not. Once oh, again, you've struck out Anita, three times. Anita. I think you're out of here. No, this is perfect. There's no way in hell that you're putting my daughter in this wedding dress. Anita, you have been in my face all day. It's done. My decision will be one of the last two dresses that we've seen. There's this no way. is not correct. I'm going to disappoint this her is not and the rest of my family because Anita. this is unacceptable. Do you know what, ladies? I've Everybody's had it. Stop. Laugh. I've had it. I want to be done with this. This is my day. You keep ruining it, and this is supposed to be about me. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. Nice one, Val. Hope you're happy. Hello, Gina. I'm calling Gina because right now I'm having an awful time, and that's not what I signed up for. I just called to tell you that I'm done. I have no bride. I have no assistant. I think I have a dress, but really, I don't even know where I'm going or what I'm doing anymore. This is absolutely turned into a nightmare. Everything will fall apart unless Gina can save the big day. I'm here to check on Becky. It sounded like she doesn't even want to get married anymore. I've never heard you as upset as I did when you called me. Are you okay? Well, no. <laughs> After what happened yesterday, it was absolutely chaotic. It was my mom and Val. I had arguments coming at me from all angles. I just felt ugly and out of place. And my mom even told me that I looked like a whale. What? I know. The two of them arguing has just brought a whole nother stress level to this that I can't take anymore. I was up here before, I was so excited, and now I'm just crashing. I just have no faith anymore, I'm done. You have to understand, your mom is extremely angry. She lost, Val won, it's Val's vision, but I really need you on board here. Val picked you out a beautiful gown. I saw it, it's perfect. I will deal with Val and Anita, just you deal with making yourselves happy. As long as Gina can make you happy, then we can do it. You guys have to do it. As long as you can take care of them, because I don't even want to talk to them at this point. Focus on packing, focus on each other, focus on something else. I will fix this. Just promise me you'll be on that plane. We can promise that. All right. Thanks, Gina. Good luck with that. With two days before the wedding, Gina meets with the moms before there's more turbulence. I have never seen Becky so upset. I had to talk to Val and Anita. I just left Becky. I had to talk her off the ledge. What happened? The problem is that Val's vision is totally out there. And the dresses? I wouldn't be caught dead in those dresses. We're going camping, we're cooking our own food, we're doing arts and crafts. Who does that at a wedding, Gina? That is ridiculous. Anita, did you call Becky a whale? Okay, I did. Yes, her own daughter. I meant the dress that thou picked made her look. But you would never call your daughter. You should never call your daughter a whale. It's the dress. Okay, girls. It's two days before the wedding. You've got to get your act together or this wedding is not going to happen. Anita, I know your dream is for Becky to be a princess on her wedding day. We're here at my favorite bridal gown and accessory store. I want you to go upstairs, bling it out. The tiara, the bracelet, the necklace, do it up. Whatever's up there, you can have. I honestly don't know why Gina's giving Anita any leeway to get to do anything. I mean, it's not her theme, it's mine. And to top it off, at this destination, if you can find a horse, we will have Becky ride to the ceremony on horseback. Woo! Yes, baby! But that's it. That's all you get. It's Val stress. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sick horse, doesn't it? How the heck is Ryan and Becky even going to ride in on a horse? Like, I'm not even sure if they even know how to ride a horse. I need you to grab the accessories, get to the airport, and when you get off that plane, Val, you have two days to plan this entire wedding, okay? I'm out of here. Now get going. I had to give Anita something. They were never going to play nice. Ay, ay, ay. Anita's now in charge and takes Val on a shopping spree for everything bling. Can you step up there for me? 
Why? I want to look at my blank canvas. Time for you to be a princess. I bet you can hardly wait. Oh, I'm counting the moments. I found the most beautiful things here. I found a birdcage hairpiece. Oh my God. How about some beads? I think Becky would look beautiful in these. Pearl necklace. This is princess all the way. But it's not a princess theme. This is the bling bling I'm talking about. These might work a little better. I found big dangly earrings with lots of bling. This is just wrong in every way. Oh, Val, what would a princess be without a garter on her wedding day? Oh, hot, hot, baby, hot. I love accessories. Here we go, a little bling bling over here. See, this is Perfect. why you didn't win. I got this beautiful jacket for you over here. You can't be serious about oh, this. Oh, I'm serious. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Every princess needs a glass slipper. Try these on. Oh, my. In a mean kind of way, I'm getting back at her for what she's done to me. You might have to hold on. With all this crap on, I might fall over. She thinks I look like a princess. She's out of her mind. Becky's going to look, well, ridiculous. And the final crowning glory, the beautiful veil. You can't really. I am so loving the veil. This is why you didn't win. This is true princess material. Maybe not all the things together, but true elements for a princess that my Freak daughter show. would Freak love. Show. Now that Anita's had her a little accessory fun, maybe she'll have that out of her system and we can actually get down to work now. As Becky and Ryan enjoy the sun, Gina knows it'll take more than mojitos to make Val's wedding vision a reality. Welcome to the Bahamas. Hi, Gina. Hi, how are Cheers. you? I see you've already started celebrating. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Becky and Ryan, enjoy yourselves. Girls, hand over your drinks. We have so much work to do. No, really? Already? Finish See you up. later. First on the list, Val has to find the wedding venue. Val, where are you taking us? Well, I'm looking for the right spot. Where are um, we going to have a wedding in here, Val? We're looking. Yeah. We're looking. We'll look um, till the cows come home. Val, I think we went a little off the radar. Why don't yeah. you go around? Let's go towards the water. Go How around this way, Val. OK. I will find the perfect spot. Yeah. In this yeah. bush? I don't think so. Wow. This is what I want. This is perfect. This is my vision. The turquoise water, the beach, the sand, it's perfect. And there's even a building for her rustic village theme. Val, I know you love it. There are a thousand things wrong with this place. You cannot have a horse here, and you can't have a pig roast. And I get a horse, so there's no way I'm not having my horse. I see no way to get the guests here. The bride can't come this way. No. I will. Way in hell is Becky trekking through this forest. Uh, you being the wedding planner, can you make this happen for me? Can you do this somehow? I can make the ceremony work here. The biggest problem is I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get the bride here. There is no path. There is no place for her to walk. I can't get her here to her own ceremony. So I have to think of something. All right, girls, let's get started. We have a lot to do. All right, let's bring people here. Let's get people here for the rehearsal. Okay. You girls head to the market, and I'm going to scout out a dinner spot. OK. All right? All right. Let's go. Two hours, girls. This is the worst possible scenario for a wedding planner. It has just turned into a full blown out nightmare. Hi, hey, ladies. How, how are you? Are you? How, how are you doing? I'm, I'm all right. I'm going to help you ladies this day. I'm cooking fish at my son's wedding. Okay. And my daughter. Don't forget my daughter. I need fish for 20 people. I need a variety. So what do you got to give me? I can give you guys a hand if you want to come down. Awesome. Show you what I got. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. What's your best fish? Plain snapper. And this we one? Have Margaret Fisher. Okay. These are the larger ones, these are the smaller snappers. Barracudas. Oh, oh barracudas. Yes. This is gross. Anita, you're feeding this at We're the wedding? We're on the island. Fish are disgusting. How about filet mignon? My wedding, my plan, my theme. This is what I want. I want some fish. It's time for me to put up and Anita to shut up. Seriously. We'll go with red snapper. Snappers. Yep, some red snapper and some margaret fish. Yeah. Everything is going to stink like fish. My dress, Becky's dress. I can't even believe that I might have to cook it, and I'm dreading every minute of serving this at the wedding. Well, that's a big bag of fish. Yeah. 
Wow. Trust me, you guys will enjoy it. Next on the list, the rehearsal. If the guests can ever get there. Come on, guys. It's this way. Our guests are really going down this hill? Are you kidding me? Oh, gee, you're so nice to help me, Val. <laughs> we could be in a beautiful atmosphere, but no, we're trekking through the jungle. Is this not jungle. beautiful? It's this crap, Val. Oh, shut up. How much further is this? Right here, Just, we're almost here. I think I'm gonna pass out. I am dying. I ain't carrying you. Go figure. Is there anything else you don't have to complain about? I have much more to come, my friend. I can't believe we're in a place where our guests have to trek to get to my daughter's wedding. I'm so frustrated. Look at guys, isn't this awesome? The water, the sun, the sand. You know what, Val? It. It's not half bad. Thank you. It's much better than I thought it would be. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, follow me. Let's run the rehearsal. Val and Ken, you're gonna walk to the center. Okay. And then veer off right here. My best man and my maid of honor. And you'll be facing him. And Anita and Leo, you're gonna be walking in with Becky. Yes. You can go straight, straight up the middle. All right, perfect. Look at the person across from you. That's where you should be standing tomorrow. Okay, let's get married. Yeah. Yeah. With waves crashing and the Caribbean sun setting, the rehearsal dinner is underway. Honestly, we have no idea where the moms have been all day. We still don't have any idea as to what is going on, where we're going to be, what I'm going to be wearing. I know there's been a lot of hard work, especially from both of our mothers put into this. And we are very grateful because we just didn't have a whole lot of time to put into this. I'm going to cry. Uh-oh. <laughs> like Ryan said, we appreciate everybody coming tonight, and we look forward to having you there to celebrate with us tomorrow. Thank you again, everybody, for coming. It really means a lot to us. They're counting on you. I know. And you. And I'm there for you. Good. As much as I haven't been, push comes to shove, I'm there. <laughs> Anita, she really has to be there for me tomorrow. If not, then everything's just going to fall apart. It's the morning of the wedding, and while Gina gets to work building the ceremony site, there's one wedding element that can't be avoided any longer, the dress. Hopefully, she likes the one Val picked out. Guys, I'm really nervous. I really want to see what this looks like. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. All right, I'm going for it. I'm taking it off. So what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Pretty. I was a little bit worried, but it's... Gorgeous. This dress is beautiful. It's more than I could have ever imagined. I am so excited that Becky loves her dress. I'm speechless, even myself. Even though I didn't pick the dress, uh, seeing Becky's reaction really did make me feel good. Honey, I think you look beautiful, but I have one more big surprise. To complete your outfit, a beautiful veil. Does it look nice? Once your hair's out, it looks nice. And these. I hope you like them. They're beautiful. I think the veil looks beautiful with the dress, and the earrings set everything off. She looks amazing. Wow. I look great. <laughs> you sure do. They're lovely. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. To be honest, I didn't really love my mom's accessories, but I had to pretend that I did just for her sake, and I know it made her happy. Guys, I hate to break up this moment, but now we have to figure out how we're going to get her there. How do they not have a plan for me to get to my own wedding? Val, you better figure it out, because this has to happen. We're working on it. I'm really freaking out right now because I still don't know how I'm getting to my wedding ceremony, and it's just too much for me to handle. With that, it's a mad dash to the venue to prep and figure out how to get the bride to the beach. These are heavy. Val, okay. this is still your vision. All right. So the tiki torches, the mason jars, we have to secure that palm on that okay. arch. Let's make sure we secure these in. It's pretty windy here. Val? Yeah. Let's put that one in that back right. This one? Just so it covers, yeah, the wood right there. OK. Anita, hurry up and get those shells. I'm coming. Hurry Relax. Up. Just what? put them in between. Come on, Relax. Relax. We're running Relax. out of time. Where do you want them? Along the aisle. We'll just make sure that this walkway is rock-free. Gina, this is all well and good, 
but we won't have a wedding without the bride. What's going on with the bride? I'll get the bride here. You girls have 20 minutes. I need you to finish the finishing touches. I need you to get dressed. Leave the bride to me. As the guests make their way down the beach, ready or not, it's time for the wedding. There's the moms and Ryan, but there's one important person missing. Now we just need the bride. She is. It may not be a horse, but it's got a lot of horse power since getting a real horse through the dense jungle proved troublesome. Now, with the bride and despite all the bickering, Ryan and Becky's wedding can commence. Val walks down the aisle with her partner Ken. Here comes Anita, Becky's dad Leo, and the bride. Ryan and Rebecca, you have told me and you've told others that your love for one another is the most amazing gift that you have received. Ryan and Rebecca, a good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having mutual sense of values and objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is form forming a circle that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. Never allow anything to be more important than you and your pledge to spend your life together. Remember that the secret to a long and healthy marriage is not in choosing the right partner, but in being the right partner. Now, Ryan, I must ask you, would you have Rebecca for your wedded wife? I will. Rebecca, would you receive Ryan for your wedded husband? Heck yes. <laughs> With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. <laughs> it is now, therefore, my joyful pleasure to acknowledge you in the eyes of the law as husband and wife. Congratulations, and sir, you may now perform your first official task as a husband and kiss your wife. <laughs> Yay, yeah. yeah. yeah, we're married! <laughs> we're married, yeah. I don't know what to say, but, you know, that was good. My daughter was the perfect bride. She wasn't a princess bride, I'll give you that but she was a beautiful bride. Stunning. And my son, the hat, said it all. Gina really pulled it off in the last hour. She found a boat, she brought my daughter here. Big props to Gina, she was awesome. You imagine yourself getting married, but you never imagine it'll be this beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better day. <laughs> Yee frickin' haw! <laughs> Not so fast, Val. Next, it's pig roast out, fish barbecue in at the reception. Hey, okay, Val, what are we doing? You need to put some fish on. It smells. No, 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 no. Stinks. All right, here you go. Oh, that's yours. Whew. I'm going to stink like fish. I'll give you a spritz of perfume. How am I doing? You're doing good. Now maybe try and flip your fish. Flip it over. That smells good. Mm. We didn't get our pig roast in the end, but the fish was absolutely amazing. It was delicious. Everybody loved it. We did it! Woo! Wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, but I stink. <laughs> <laughs>
This is by far the most adventurous wedding that I've ever been a part of. This really brought both moms together. They worked so hard, and there's a new love there. On behalf of Ryan and myself, we would like to thank everybody for coming to our beautiful wedding celebration that we've had here in the Bahamas. Moms, you guys raw. We couldn't have done a better jobs ourselves. You guys worked together, and you pulled off a beautiful event for everybody to enjoy. Props. It's all about you, my friends. Love you. Cheers, Val. Cheers. Party on, guys. Everything's been amazing from start to finish. The rustic village, walking down the aisle to the fresh fish on the barbecue. The live music turned out to be a great hit amongst everybody, and it turned out to be better than a DJ. Everything has been amazing. I wasn't really sure about Val's homemade centerpiece creation thingamajigs, but they turned out to be great, and all the guests had a lot of fun making them. I didn't get my horse. But guess what? I got to come in on a boat, which is going super fast. If you're happy, I'm happy. And we're all happy. This was definitely a difficult venue. It was hard to pull Val's vision off, but in the end, she almost got everything she wanted. It was a beautiful affair. Your cake looks amazing, Mom. This looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We were like this. And now we're like this. We're a big, happy family. It's been so great. Good. It's just the perfect ending for Becky and Ryan. I would like to say, ye frickin' ha. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Lindsay and Victor. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. What? Body, body, body. Serving God is everything to me. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? It's your daughter's wedding? Get up! You're the piper, I dance to your command. Oh. May the best mom win. <laughs> Lindsay and Victor are deeply in love and madly busy. Family's important to me. Um, yeah. That's why I wake up in the morning. That's why I go to work. That's why I come home. <laughs> Everything revolves around our children. They're amazing little blessings. Let's get this cleaned up Hello. so we can get ready for bed, OK? They're our joys, <laughs> our motivators, and our strength. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're each other's sanity. <laughs> Nap time. No more noise. OK? I fell in love with Lindsay the first time I met her. Um, I looked in her eyes, and as soon as I saw, I kind of knew that she had something special and that we potentially could do some amazing things together. I knew I loved him when he first offered me a ride and he offered me water. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never experienced like anybody that was so like deadly concerned for my thirst. Because it was like every single time I got in his car, he always had a drink for me, whether it was like, you know, water, then he found out I liked iced tea, so then he'd always have an iced tea for me. And I was just like, oh, he does care. I proposed to Lindsay at our old apartment. I had our son, Micaiah, kind of um, walking a ring over to her. And then she came around the corner trying to figure out, well, what, what is this about? And I was on one knee, and she was in tears. And it was a <laughs> really, really special moment for us. A house full of kids and the idea of marriage has not made a wedding. Our life is crazy busy. It's just no way that planning a wedding is possible just due to the fact that our hands are full. We have no experience. <laughs> we are underqualified. We need help. <laughs> I'm here to meet Lindsay and Victor. I can make their wedding day happen, but they have to agree to my terms. I know you want to tie the knot, but obviously you don't have any time. None. <laughs> well, I'm here to make your wedding happen. OK. There is one condition. You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything, the wedding dress, the wedding decor, to one of your mothers. What? Uh, can I at least choose the store where we buy the dress from? No. I'd have some challenges with that. I love my mother, I love uh, my mother-in-law, but mm -hmm. to have no control over it, it would be challenging, definitely. Well, with your busy lives, this could be the only way to get down the aisle together. She has a point. I do want this for the kids. No, I want this for us. I need your answer. What's it going to be? OK. All right, we can do this. You're going to do it? We can do this, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Good boy. I don't like making decisions on the fly. So this can go wrong because of the fact that we had to make such a quick decision. And being a mother, I like to be in control of everything. So this is going to take a lot for me to let go of. They're a sweet couple. And uh, I know that they want to get married. They seem excited. But I don't think they know what they're in for. Meet the moms. Lindsay's mom, Cynthia, is reserved, religious, and believes strongly in her convictions. Serving God is everything to me. My mom doesn't date. My mom doesn't drink. She doesn't dance. She's very focused on the church and her gardening. Oh, my babies. I love nature. I love to walk. I love the outdoors. Organic gardening is my passion. She's not in the church. She's gardening. She's not gardening. She's in the church. My training is as a secular counselor. Unfortunately, in our society, there's a lot of talking, but uh, people are just dying to have someone to listen. Victor's mom, Gloria, is vibrant and full of life. I'm a fun, joyful person. I love music. I love to dance. I like to entertain. I cook. I slept all day for this dinner. My house is always filled with people, my grandchildren, my family. Yeah. I'm just really overall a flamboyant, <laughs> loving person. My mother, Gloria, is very social. She's always the first on the dance floor for any events and probably the last to leave. <laughs> These mothers have nothing in common. Cynthia lives a very solitary, different life to me. She likes to party. Very conservative, I would say. And drink. She's quite intimate with the Lord. She's more uh, lenient. Cynthia is the only Jamaican Caribbean woman whom I know still gardens in the winter. Ideas on how to make a beautiful wedding bloom are as different as the people involved. I envision the wedding to be very fun and colorful and vibrant. I want to really ensure that everyone that's present understands the principles and precepts of my ancestors and that the wedding and our marriage is rooted in tradition. I think that our wedding should be more of a party than a tool to educate people. <laughs> my vision for Victor and Lindsay's wedding would be to have a big Caribbean wedding. We want to concentrate on the religious aspect of this wedding. A joyful occasion. Traditional African Christian wedding. Lots of party, dancing, lots of music. I do not want it to be a big party. It's not about partying. The wedding's going to be on a boat. Both the ceremony and the reception will be held at the church. The decor must be Caribbean. Lots of color, flowers. The decor for the wedding is um, very natural. So the sunset, the water, oh, all that's going to give us just the Caribbean feeling. No. I want Lindsay's dress to be out of this world. Lindsay's dress will be very modest. Something really glamorous, something that portrays her personality with lots of frills, sequins. African lace with the head wrap. I want a wedding that I'll remember forever, not a wedding that I want to forget. It's time for Gina to get everyone together to lay down the rules. I brought you here to explain the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. No sweat. I will present both visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. There's no way I'm going to be anybody's assistant. Thank That's you. what you think. My daughter is not going to let me down. I think I have this one in the bag, Gloria. I've oh, got this one in the Mom, I hate to bust your big bubble, but my <laughs> son loves me dearly. You're his mother, but I'm the mother-in-law. Right, son-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You're in the hot seat, my son. <laughs> I'm confident that um, I will come up with something that my daughter will be blown away by. I know that my vision is going to be better than Cynthia's, and I know it's going to be lots of fun. Glad to hear that I will be having an assistant. May the best mom win. Okay. So staying out of this one. Our mothers are very strong and Definitely. independent and take charge kind of women. So for them to have to play second fiddle and fall back to somebody else's lead, I don't think it's going to be very pretty. <laughs> We're in for some fireworks with this family. There is no room for sexy dancing or wild drinking at my daughter's wedding. Cynthia, stay in your garden. This wedding is going to be one hot party. 
coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Lindsay and Victor choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. I feel what's most important about the wedding is the party. I'm afraid if my mom plans a wedding, she will literally suck the life right out of it. There won't be any dancing or drinking or partying. Do you need any help? Um, yes, so I'm looking for a head tie. It's important for me to show the traditional African elements of my vision. It's That's a... beautiful, thank you, yes. It's gonna be a hard choice, huh? Come to deal, huh? We can work out a deal. <laughs> I love this one the most. Like a true African princess. Okay. But you look beautiful. I think that if my mother plans the wedding, it'll be um, very much focused on entertainments and having fun, which is ideal. But in some instances, I think that the ceremony and the purpose behind the wedding and the marriage is critical. And anyone attending should see that. I'm planning this amazing wedding for my son. You happen to be, I think, the only one I noticed with the bird of paradise, which is what yes, I would yes. really like to That's have great. for the wedding. I love flowers, I love color, and the bird of paradise brings out that sort of image of myself and what I would like to see for the wedding. Yeah. Oh, these are perfect. Really the ideal colors. There you are. Look how pretty so they are. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Time's up. The moms have to show their stuff. Gina! Hi, Gina. Thank you. Cynthia, what is your vision? Traditional African spiritual wedding. Big Caribbean, fun, loving, beautiful party. Her dress will be made of this traditional African lace. I just want her to have a fantastic dress, a beautiful dress. I want it to be big. I want it to have lots of beads, <laughs> the bows. And this is the headdress. She deserves something really pretty. To highlight her beauty. I love this fabric. One of those birds of paradise at the back of the chair, which would form as a bow. The venue will be decorated with trees and living plants. What is the venue? I would really love it to be a boat cruise. The boat concerns me. We would have to have a perfect weather day. Everything is going to happen inside the church. Everything will be done on the boat. This is a religious base ceremony, focused and centered on the Bible. The minister will come aboard, perform his ceremony, and she or he will be partying with us. Have you thought about making the reception a little more of a party type atmosphere? No. Hot music, having fun. You cannot have boozing. How about sampling my lovely rum punch? You cannot have wanton, whirly dancing. Go for it, the soca. Not at my daughter's wedding. <laughs> the next step is putting all of this together, making it very polished, very professional, and showing it to Lindsay and Victor. Thank you, Gina. I know that the children will love my concept. I'm hoping that Lindsay and Victor will see that my vision for the wedding is the best vision. This is a very religious couple, but this is a couple that loves life. And each mom is doing something very different. I know it's gonna be so hard for the couple to choose. Lindsay and Victor arrive to see what their moms have come up with for their wedding. Unknown to the couple, both their moms are backstage watching and listening to everything. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. Cynthia's theme is a traditional African religious wedding. She wants to fill the church with plants, trees, twigs, earth tones. A traditional wedding dress made of African lace. I love it. I think it's beautiful. You and your bridesmaids will be wearing traditional African head wraps. Very pretty. I oh. knew they would love the headdress. No. They have taste. Oh, please. <laughs> Please. They have culture. The reception will also be at the church. I think it's an amazing church. If we do choose this theme, I'm all for it. The music will be traditional African drummers. I love that. Ooh, I love that. The djembe is very critical in regards to our community and how we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. so. Now, there will be no DJ at the wedding. No DJ? <laughs> 
The drummers will be able to do a good job. I trust the drummers will do a good job, but they still need a DJ. I can't believe she wants a DJ at her wedding. It's not a party. Yeah, it's, so it's a wedding. It's not a party. A wedding it's a religious service. service. There will be no alcohol at the reception. None? What do you mean, no booze? The spirit in us is what gets a marriage going, oh, not no. the spirit in your glass. I think that the spiritual aspect of the wedding is very important to me, especially the ceremony. And alcohol has been a tool to oppress my community for many years. So I don't mind it not being present. I think that um, it's a good thing. Perfect. Right on. Oh, my goodness. Right on. Are you ready to see presentation number two? Yes. You're old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Come on, get with it, Cynthia. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Shit, that's beautiful. Glory's vision is a wild Caribbean party wedding. It looks like it's going to be a good time. You got it, Lindsay. I'm concerned about the wild <laughs> in the theme. It kind of takes away from the ceremony for me. Come on, Victor, now. Well, I don't like the orange. I like purple and gold, but I'm not too sure about orange. Cupcakes made from Caribbean fruit cake instead of a traditional wedding cake. Oh, I love that. Lots and lots of rum punch. <laughs> so there will be liquor at this wedding. The ceremony and reception will take place on a boat. I love the ceremony being on a boat. I love the ceremony having rum punch. I love the colors. I love, I love, I love. Your dress, a sparkly, extravagant dress fit for a Caribbean queen. The entertainment for this wedding? Caribbean dancers and a DJ. Mm, I like that. I would love to incorporate the djembe of the African drum somehow. That you're in a position where you have to choose either all of the elements from this or all of the elements from that. I definitely want the Caribbean dancers and the DJ. That's going to be a good time. It's going to be a party atmosphere. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, I think that my mom's um, wedding seems very extravagant and beautiful, but it takes away from the ceremony and the ritual for me. Oh, no. Come on, come on, son-in-law. Oh, come on, no, my son-in-law. You both seem very torn. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Take some time to really think about the choice you're going to make. I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. Cynthia and Gloria are cut off from listening in, while Lindsay and Victor decide which mom's wedding vision is the winner. I love this cupcake. It's so pretty. I don't like the cupcakes at all. I think we need a formal cake. I love it. I think it's cute. Oh, and I love the smell of the fruits. Yeah, it is nice. I just don't like the rum. Jamaican rum punch? I had to have that at a wedding. Yeah, and then it has everyone... to flow from like a fountain. Everyone's drunk. <laughs> yes. No. The dancing, the DJ, the rum punch, the purple and gold. I could see this. Let's see the other one. I love the jumbe. 15 brothers and sisters drumming. It'll be nice. It'll be wholesome. 15 brothers and sisters drumming for like 15 minutes. If there's no drumming at the wedding, it doesn't make sense. If there's no DJ, it doesn't make sense. How many weddings have multiple African drummers drumming? I think it's unique, it's innovative, and it's relevant. I think your mom's vision is exactly what we need for our wedding. I disagree. The rum's the issue to me. It sets a negative tone for our marriage. I don't want everyone liquored up on a special day that's sacred. I don't know what we're gonna do. Just thinking about how fast I have to come to a decision, and it's, um, it's a little bit frustrating. I'm scared. I've never been in a situation like this before. I don't know what we're going to do. Have you made a decision? We have come to a decision reluctantly. It's been very hard, and... Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <laughs> I knew you I knew you were here. I all with love. <laughs> Victor, let them know what decision we picked. Um, it was very challenging to decide which wedding. We love both of the dynamics. So it was a very difficult decision to appease the overall um, flavor of the day, to ensure that folks enjoyed themselves. We chose your wedding one. to be a winner. Ah, gonna have a party! <laughs> I am beyond words. I'm speechless. 
seriously, the drumming, I wanted the wedding. I worked so hard, and now you go. I was counting on you, too. I was counting on you, Victor. I was. Uh... I appreciate the work you did, and I it's really okay. feel bad, and I wish we could have had both. So you made the wrong decision. I'm sorry, Mom. Definitely, we're sorry. I bet you are. I am unbelievable. I cannot describe how disappointed and surprised I am that my daughter's wedding will not be in a church. I hope somehow it will be blessed, and I hope it will be legal. Congratulations, Gloria. Thank you very much. And Cynthia, you're Gloria's wedding assistant. It's going to be interesting. All right, moms, we have one week to pull this wedding together. Let's get to work. Party, party, party. Uh, my mom will definitely not have a problem bossing around Cynthia. Um, I think there might be an issue there. Drinking and partying and dancing is not going to win out over God, church, and tradition. Gloria has a fight on her hands. I think we have a true war here. Gloria brings Cynthia to audition live entertainment for the wedding. Bring out the first dancer. What? Are you crazy? What is this? This is to just get people in the mood, My Cynthia. Dear. Do I have to uninvite my pastors and my ministers and oh, everyone in my church? pastors, please, Cynthia. Beautiful dancer, do your thing. You can do your thing, but this is the last time you're doing your thing because you won't be doing your thing at my daughter's wedding. That's what you think, Cynthia. I'm the boss here. You're the assistant. What I say goes, if I say we're having dancers, we're having dancers. OK, we will see. Are you out of your mind? This is talent. This is what they present to your son at his, his bachelor party. You do not bring this to a dignified, spiritual, to the wedding. What does it take away from the sacredness of the wedding to have dancers? Dancing is an art, Cynthia. Cynthia, dancing is something that people do to be joyful. And they must be naked. They must be half naked. Nakedness is beauty. That's art, Cynthia. Your family will be the only people at this ungodly Sodom and Gomorrah thing that you're planning. Oh, Cynthia, light now. going to choose all these girls they were so amazing i really have a lot of fasting and praying to do oh, i think cynthia is just feeling sorry for herself because i won the vision for the wedding and she's not cooperating at all i still cannot believe that this is this is real you girls were amazing i like every one of you we'll have all four are you crazy we cannot have all four this is borderline pornography. We will be having the dancers, Cynthia. You're in. <laughs> She's a conservative lady. I'm going to break that out of her on the wedding night. I'll have her boogieing down the floor. This entire wedding has been turned from a beautiful ceremony into a giant sin. Sin or not, time is running out and there's a wedding dress to be bought. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. Lindsay has handed over full control to her mother-in-law. And whatever dress Gloria chooses, she's going to have to wear it on her wedding day. I'm looking for elegance, almost like a princess. These are all so beautiful. Look at it, Cynthia. What do you think? Does my opinion matter? Cynthia, All come of on. these dresses are sleeveless. No sleeve, I nothing have on top I have actually compromised. I'm giving you a one shoulder. What else do you want? I don't like anything here. All you do is you keep negative, negative. Sit down. Because you're turning my daughter's wedding into a burlesque show. I don't know what is the matter with Cynthia. You know, some people, you give them a little power, and they just let it go to their head. And the bride has to look sexy for her husband. Are we planning the honeymoon or the wedding? This is the wedding ceremony. 
Do you want your daughter to look like an old woman going to church? Lindsay is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, amazing. What's it look like? It's lovely, it's beautiful, trust me. Mom, what do you think? The color is lovely, Lindsay. That's about the only thing. This is how a bride looks on a wedding day, Cynthia. Come on. If this beautiful dress had some covering, her arms and her shoulder, it could not be beautiful. Get with it. This is the 20th century. What is wrong with her? Did she think that Lindsay is entering the convent on her wedding day? I'm tired of you just sitting back, finding fault. You get up. It's your daughter's wedding. Get up. You're the piper. I dance to your command. Yes, dance to Sit my down. music. It's just my vision. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm up. I now have your permission to participate. Oh, fine. Let me take her into the change room and put her in the next dress that you chose. Fine. It's my time to take a break. Give your mouth a break. I feel like my moms don't even care that I'm here. They're just too worried about this competition, and it's not even about me or my wedding dress. Let you look like a dignified bride. Does it go with the dress? Of course. Would I choose something that don't go with the dress? What about my hair? You trust me, don't you? Yeah, I just wish okay. I could see it. You know that mother-in-law of yours, she thinks having power means she has to be a dictator. Finally, a touch of class. What Finally. is this on Lindsay's head? You're wearing a satin dress? She's covered your head with some sort of a lace bundle thing? I cannot stand by and allow Gloria to spoil this whole experience. Lindsay, if you had a mirror to see this thing, you would just run. You wouldn't Gloria, stand before your a camera. mouth is giving us a headache. Cynthia just wants to dress my daughter-in-law into this African tradition outfit. And that is not my vision. Oh! <laughs> I don't care what Gloria wants. I just want what's best for my daughter. I'm gonna add some class to this wedding yet. This is really frustrating. I mean, I really wanna look good. I don't understand why my two moms can't get along. These two moms have to get along. It's time to view the wedding venue. We're going upstairs. Come, this is where this is where you enjoy the beauty of the boat. Look at the harbor. Come on, come on, Cynthia. My eyeballs are frozen. I can't look at anything. Look at the water. I can't believe this is the best you could come up with for a venue. Oh, Cynthia, you've got tunnel vision. This is the perfect venue to replace an island cruise, Cynthia. In a Caribbean wedding, you're supposed to be 80 degrees. This is the freezing weather. You cannot be out on a boat. Lindsay and Victor. This is what they want. This is what they've chosen. Let's just make it happen for them. The fact that we're on this boat is unbelievable to me. I'm spending all of my time just dealing with Cynthia and all her idiosyncrasies other than planning a wedding. And this is what we should be focused on, planning the wedding, because the day is just crawling up upon us. You cover everything what you want to say this is what the children want. Well, we will see. What's going on with you? It's not about the boat. Something else is eating up at you. You take over. You took the power. You think you're in charge of everything. You want the party scene. I want and we are, I'm fighting for the blessing of God. Where is the church? Where is the holy place? You do not need a church to get God. Prepare to have an empty seat at my only daughter's wedding because I will not be here. I will not be partaker of this. That's it. I'm done. Gina arrives to check in on the venue and on the moms. I am done. I am out of here. Just give it I another chance, done. Cynthia. Cynthia, here. give this another chance, Cynthia. What's going on here? I'm not doing this. I quit. That's it. No altar, no life, no flowers. You can take your son and go home. I'll marry my daughter to someone else. I came so excited to show the moms the venue. They were already leaving the venue. They had already walked through it, and there was an intense fight going on. You're the one who loves my son. But, but the mother-in-law that comes with, with him. I'm done. Such okay, a holy mom, lady that you saying such things. Moms, please stop fighting. Let's go on the boat. I have an idea. Here, follow me. 
I should be spending my time on the wedding instead of just spending all my time dealing with Cynthia. I cannot work with this woman. Come on in. These moms totally have to find love for each other again, or this wedding is going to be a complete failure. Moms, we're so close to the wedding, I cannot have you two not working together. So, Cynthia, I'm going to give you two things from your vision. First, I think that we should do the ceremony indoors here. You don't have to worry about weather, everyone would fit, and this looks like an altar. And Cynthia, I'm also going to allow you to have lots and lots of plants at the ceremony. Yes, thank you. This was not my vision, and this was not what you promised. Gloria, the rest will be all of you. In here, we're so enclosed. You feel it's so claustrophobic in here. It's like, it's like we're just in another venue. We have two days until this wedding. If you two do not work together, this wedding is going to be an absolute disaster. OK, Gloria. Can we work together, please? Can we compromise? You better be nice when we have to compromise. I will try. OK. OK, let's get to work. Gina's made a call and gets the plants delivered to turn this boat into Cynthia's floating Eden. Hey, guys, bring everything up. This way, please. It's right over here. Beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. This represents life. This back a little bit, just put it. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I can't believe that Gina is trying to compromise my vision. We're going to be stuck inside with a bunch of plants. This is beautiful. Whatever. But even with the addition of plants and an altar, Cynthia's not convinced God is here. It's been a really tough week for these moms. So I'm checking in on Lindsay and Victor to make sure that they're OK. How are things going? We're freaking out. Two days, I mean, I don't know when it's happening. I all have seen it in my mom's arguing. I can tell you that you have very, very strong-willed mothers. I would have to agree. Yeah, definitely. They're butting heads, yes, but we've gotten past it. We're moving forward, and I don't want you guys to stress out. Easier said than done not Definitely. to stress out. <laughs> I just can't see how this wedding's coming together. I mean, I wish I knew more. I understand oh, completely. I, I get it. Your wedding is going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. I hope so. Your moms love you. All they want is for you guys to have a fantastic wedding. Everything is fine. And I know we only have two days left. Oh, yes. I want to get going. OK. You guys are OK? You're Better. Okay. Thank you. Better? Yes. Better. OK, good. OK. Call me if you need me. We will. OK. Oh, I'm Gloria's ready. back and in full party mode. She casts Cynthia's sacred ceremony aside to tend to her outdoor dance party. Gloria, oh, what are you I'm doing up here? Oh, I'm just getting everything ready for dancing. I just think this is just the perfect place for dancing in the open air. The party area on the roof is going to be incredible. It's a risk. The weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be sunny, bright, plus 18. So it's just going to be just perfect. Here, let me okay. help you. Kim, let's get oh. rid of the white. Now, this is Caribbean. This is tropical. This makes me want to boogie right now. Never mind, that's it. But rain showers threaten to dampen Gloria's vision. Let's stop this for now. Let the storm pass, and I will have this set up tomorrow for you. OK. OK? OK. I'm here today to help Gloria with the venue. Yes, but Cynthia you. soon realizes God is taking a back seat to Gloria's big party plans. Gloria, what are you doing up there? Cynthia, this is the vision, Cynthia. I love my daughter, I do, but I don't know if I can be a part of this anymore. I never wanted to be in this stupid boat. There's no church, there's no altar, and now there's also going to be no Cynthia. I am out of here. She's always wanted a church wedding. A church wedding is not happening, and she's just going crazy. This is what the couple wanted, and this is what they're getting. They're getting a fun outdoor wedding. She was so over the top angry that we couldn't even reason with her. Cynthia has completely freaked out on me. The rehearsal is in an hour. I just hope that Cynthia calms down and she comes back. Whether Cynthia is here or not, the show must go on. Let's work this thing out, Cynthia, for, for Victor and Lindsay's sake. Please, Cynthia, please get back to me. I'm waiting for your call. Right now, I'm trying not to be, but I'm just so disappointed. 
Now I don't even know what's going to happen. If we could start with Reverend Skye. It's time for the rehearsal, but Cynthia has not returned. Come on down. Great. Okay, let's get going. All three of you could follow me, okay? Walk down, nice and slow tomorrow. Continue, perfect. And my next set. So a little more of a V here. It's perfect. Are you okay? I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, guys, let's get married. Good job. The wedding's a day away. We're almost finished the rehearsal. There's still so much more to do, and now we have a mother of the bride that won't even show up. Now that Cynthia's not here at the rehearsal, I'm just worried that she won't show up for the wedding. The ladies meet Lindsay to celebrate her last night as a single woman. Step back with your right foot, and I'll drop. Beautiful. Oh! And roll up slowly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gloria arrives and tells Lindsay about Cynthia's blow up at the boat. I really hope that my mom's gonna be at the wedding tomorrow. She has to come, it's the most important day of my life and I couldn't imagine it without her. The important thing now is that Cynthia is here tomorrow to share this special day with us. Lindsay calls her mom to see if she can smooth things over. Hi, mom. Right now I'm just trying to find out if you're coming still or, I know. I know, I know, but I'm just asking. I know, I know, but I'm just asking. Oh, my battery died. With nothing actually settled, Lindsay can only hope her mom comes around. Clearly the moms aren't even getting along, so I don't even know what I'm gonna be walking into tomorrow. I'm nervous and scared and a lot of anxiety is building up right now, so I'm pretty emotional and I don't wanna be an emotional wreck on my wedding day, but at this point, I. I can't even know what to expect. Gloria still hasn't heard from Cynthia. She takes the dress to Lindsay at her boatside hotel room. Hi! Hey, oh, the dress! Where's your mom? Is she here? No, it's not. I oh, don't know my she goodness. We just have to get into the spirit and let's get going. This is going to be a beautiful day. I promise it's going to be beautiful. The sun's shining. Everything's really wonderful today. Come on, let's okay. get into this dress. Let's go try this. Lindsay shelves her feelings about her mom to focus on seeing her wedding dress for the first time. Can I look? Are you ready? Yes, I'm dying to see this. One, two, three. Open up, Dada! <laughs> I have so much work to do and I have no assistant and everything's got to be done this afternoon. I love, love, love my dress. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're going to have a good day today. Everything's going to oh, be OK. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I'm disappointed that Cynthia is not here. I know that Lindsay would love her to share that joyous moment with her. This is a beautiful dress, but there is no way I can get married without my mom showing up for this wedding. She needs to come. She needs to be here. I have faith that she'll be here. I have so much work to do, and I have no assistant, and everything's got to be done this afternoon. It's a little chilly, so at the last minute, Gina and Gloria decide to have the entire wedding indoors. We have 28 more people. Oh my goodness, Gina, Hi, I can't believe this place. This is beautiful. Good. Oh, you did a good job. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Now the only thing we need is Cynthia. You want the purple dress? Oh. <laughs> There's a big smile on Lindsay's face right now, but I know deep inside her heart is breaking. Guests begin to arrive. Hi. There are seats up yes. there, yeah? Sit anywhere you'd like, open seating. Are you sitting back here? Yeah, that's fine. But still no sign of Cynthia. Oh my gosh. Okay, just calm down. It's, it's gonna be okay, she's gonna be here. There we go. I can't get married without my mom. It can happen like this, she needs to be here. Are we 5.30 or 6 o'clock? Oh is gosh, it? I hope 5 I heard it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God! 
<laughs> I did it, I'm here. I love you. Now let's get you married. OK, let's go. No matter what my difference is with Gloria, I am here to support my daughter. Do you, Victor, take Lindsay to be your wife? Yes. Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, and to keep yourself solely for her? Yes, I do. Do you, Lindsay, with this understanding, take Victor to be your beloved husband? I do. Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, and to keep yourself solely for him? I do. Lindsay, Christiana, I love you and I always will. Your love inspires me to be a better man, husband, and father. I will love, honor, and cherish you all the days of my life. I love you because you, because, you know, all my faults <laughs> You saw the light inside of me that I didn't even know it was there. And it wasn't until I met you and you ignited that flame and made me believe. <laughs> because you have that wisdom and that foresight. And that's truly been a gift to me. And I don't know how I would have come this far without you. I love you. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may seal your union with a kiss. We want to send a lot of love to our mothers. Lots, lots, lots of love. A lot of love to love our mothers. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for, for putting this together Courtney. for us. We couldn't have done it without you. You guys have spent so much time on this. Like, it's unbelievable the amount of dedication you guys put towards this. And I love you from the bottom of our hearts. And we owe you big time. <laughs> Thank you. ceremony we had it inside it was still chilly outside it's been a tough couple of days for Lindsay but seeing her reaction when she saw her mom you knew that this was really going to be the happiest day of her life she's been so emotional from last night her heart was broken you saved the day Cynthia my daughter looks amazing in her dress it's a little bit revealing for my taste but she loves it she's very happy and she really looks stunning when I saw Lindsay, my heart warms. So I'm just so happy and so honored and so blessed to be here. <laughs> Even though we were inside, Gloria still got her great party. There was tons of rum drinking. She had Caribbean dancers. She really got the dream that she wanted for her son and daughter-in-law. The Caribbean dancers are downstairs. Everybody's drinking that rum punch. Oh my God, and they're having a good time and we're partying just as we planned it. It's good that everyone is partying and having a good time. I just hope that there won't be an issue when all these people have to get home. My mom's vision was amazing. Things turned out, I must say. I told you so. I don't want to say yes. I told you so. I won't do yes. it. Yes. However, Cynthia, I told you we were going to have a good time yes. on the boat. Oh, All yes. is forgotten. All is well. Yes. And Our Cynthia, children are married. Yeah, we're we happy. had a beautiful wedding, a beautiful day. It was a magical day for Lindsay and Victor. 